So you're wondering how your indexes are doing. Like, do you have the right indexes designed for a database? Are you desperately missing some indexes? That's where SP Blitz Index comes in. This totally free script gives you a health check across your databases. Now, when I get SP Blitz Index, I can just hit Execute, and it's going to go create the stored procedure. I usually put my utility stored procedures in master, but if you want to put it in another database, that's completely fine. It'll work in any database. Now I'm going to switch windows here and go over into another window where I've already got some parameters set up for SP Blitz Index. The first one that I'm going to go run it with is with get all databases equals one. This goes through and analyzes the health of indexes across my entire SQL Server. All of my user databases, it's going to go check against all of them. If you've got more than 50 databases on your SQL Server, we actually stop there. If you want to analyze more than 50, you'll need to use the parameter bring the pain equals one. There's a reason why it's named that. It's going to take a very long time. It's not going to block other people while it runs. It's just that it's going to take a long time to analyze across hundreds of databases. So when I run SP Blitz Index, here's what I get back. I get a prioritized list of things that are kind of iffy in terms of performance on my SQL Server. In here, I've got my Stack Overflow demo database. I can see that I've got a few really high value missing indexes, and I've got some indexes that I'm not even using. Now to explain each of these, I want to scroll across and look at the details. In the first three here, these are the indexes a SQL Server has been tracking to say, I really wish I had these indexes. The SP Blitz Index is just built atop of the index usage DMVs and missing index DMVs that are built into SQL Server. So it's limited in terms of its capabilities. It will tell you what fields it wants the index on. But remember, with SQL Server's missing index DMVs, this does not mean the order that that index should be included in. The different fields may need to be moved around into different order. That's up to you with your index tuning capabilities. So I continue scrolling across here. It'll tell you how many times that index would have been used, how much faster it would have made the queries involved with that, and how expensive those queries were that really needed the index. If you want to see which queries they were, your best bet is to go use the SP Blitz cache stored procedure that will go through and analyze the queries in your plan cache. That's for another video. We also tell you how many indexes already exist on that table. So for example, I can see here, yeah, of course, I need some indexes on these tables. I don't have any right now. And if I want to learn more about each particular table that's getting recommendations here, see this more info command? I can just copy paste these right out. Let's take one out by default, start a new window, and then paste that in execute it, SP Blitz Cache will then go and give me a more thorough review just about that one table. For example, here are the indexes on that table. This table has one clustered index that also happens to be the primary key. We show information about the fill factor, how many seeks and scans it's had, how large it is, whether or not it has partitioning or compression, and much more. If there are any missing indexes, those will show up in the next result set. And then the third result set has the complete definition for the table, all of the fields on that table, which I find really useful when I'm doing index tuning. How big are the fields that I'm getting ready to index? Let's go back to SP Blitz Index's output and dig a little bit deeper. We also get the exact create indexes command over here in the create T SQL column. So I can just copy paste this in and have an indexing party in my database and everyone's invited. Well, not quite so fast. See, there's a trick here when we paste in these, uh, these uh, index recommendations. Notice how there's some little question marks in here. These don't compile as is. You can't just execute these and immediately create indexes because I want you to kind of understand what you're doing before you go just create indexes willy-nilly. Otherwise, I know how you people are. You'll copy-paste anything that you get from the internet and immediately flood your database with indexes. So we make you think there about whether you want indexes created online or off. 
and whether or not you want sort in tempdb on or off. That's a performance question best left for our index training. Now back over on SP Blitz Index's output, we've also got alerts here that I have some indexes that aren't being used. They're only slowing down my inserts, updates, and deletes. And if I scroll across, I can also see how big these indexes are and how many writes I've actually done to them. But this is only a handful of warnings. The reason why is we only want to surface the most crucial warnings on your largest objects. If you want to go into more details, you want to see things even on fairly small tables, what you can do is switch into a specific database. Let's go look at just the Stack Overflow database, and then I'm going to run it with a different set of commands. I'm going to run it with mode equals 4. SP Blitz Index has several different modes, but mode equals 4 will go down even to more detail on our smaller tables. For example here, you'll see it returns more warnings, multiple personalities. I've got borderline duplicate indexes on one of my indexed views. Now is probably a good time to mention the cool names on these. Indexophobia, multiple personalities, hoarder, abnormal psychology, workaholics. We kind of think of this as a psychological test for your indexes. It's not that there's any kind of bad psychology, it's just sometimes there are unusual behavioral patterns, like you're a kleptomaniac. So we just want to alert you about some of these unusual things that are going on inside your database. If you want to learn more details about any of the warnings that your SQL Server is facing, check out the URL column where you can see whole pages about each of the unusual psychological behaviors that are going on inside your database. That's SP Blitz Index, a tool to help you design the right indexes and get rid of the junk indexes in your SQL Server database.